Hey everyone and welcome to a quick little update vid on uh, some of the new changes I've made to the game. So uh, first off we have a new setting up here which is a player invincible setting. If I could probably guess what this means immediately, I mean it's not too hard to guess but it simply just makes it so you don't receive damage from any of the uh, bullets that the enemies fire. Uh, so yeah. One thing you'll also notice, if I lock on real quick, is that there is a line trace that's being shown between me and the enemy. And as you get further away from the enemy, the line will transition from green to yellow to orange. And if you get far away enough, it'll transition to red, which means getting close to the limit of the uh, lock on radius and if you keep going any further then the lock on will end you can toggle this setting on and off in the uh, options menu should probably turn that uh, print string off before I started this but oh well but, uh, yeah. one thing you probably also saw just is that there's a new uh, little lock on indicator above the enemy this is just an arrow that moves up and down sort of pointing towards the uh, enemy that you currently are locked onto. Uh, let me just get this up so I know what else I have to talk about. All right. So the next thing, if I turn off auto aiming for the camera and I turn to the right, you'll see that uh, underneath the uh, print string there's an arrow pointing to the left, sort of signifying that the uh, current locked on enemy is to the left of the screen. And if I do the same on the right side, you'll see an arrow on the right side of the screen. So uh, that's uh, one of the things that uh, I think Alan sort of requested that I put in the game. Uh, so next, uh, when you uh, now when you shoot enemies in the game, sort of just for uh, visual feedback, sorry, there's now a hit marker sort of icon that appears. It only appears for point one of a second and then disappears again but if you uh, rapidly fire you can uh, see how many of the uh, shots are hitting the uh, arrow also appears if you say lock onto a barrel and it will follow wherever the barrel goes so if you keep knocking the barrel everywhere it will follow the barrel one weird thing though is that if it goes on its side, the uh, arrow will move from left to right rather than up and down, but I'll have a look into that. So uh, one thing Alan also wanted to have a look at, which uh, I'll show you in the playtest map as well, is how height affects the lock-on. So here I've just made a sort of a so, like really hilly terrain. So here you can go up and down terrain, and you can see how it affects the camera. You'll see that if the terrain blocks the line of sight between the player's weapon, which is the right, which is the uh, red arrow, and the origin point of the enemy, then it'll lose the lock on. But if there's nothing blocking it, then it's free to uh, lock onto it, because the lock on isn't. Uh, doesn't originate from the camera, it originates from the player's position. So if you, if the, if the camera can see it, that still doesn't affect it, it's whether the player can see the uh, enemy itself. So as you can see, as long as the player's weapon can still see the enemy, it doesn't affect the uh, lock-on too much with uh, height changes. So I can still lock onto that guy down there, and the camera will still point me towards him, as long as he's not dead, obviously. But so uh, if I run over to this guy real quick, this guy is the uh, last one on level one, and I'll show you uh, some of the changes I've made to the playtest map. So yeah, the lock on really isn't it affected in any sort of way by height change so whatever height you're at 
and whatever height the enemy's at shouldn't really matter. Just as long as uh, the uh, line of sight from the weapon to the enemy is actually there. So uh, yeah, I'll move on to the uh, playtest level now. As you can see I've got a little board here with the uh, names of the level. So if I enter play test, it'll put me on this map. And as you'll see here I've got uh, two ramps on either side leading up and over. And once you jump off these, the, uh, you can't get back up because the jump height is too much to get back over. So you kind of have to fight these guys as soon as you jump off. So As you can see now, the uh, enemies, unlike before, are actually getting a sort of knockback effect by, uh, by the bullets. So uh, here's a couple examples of uh, sort of what Alan wanted to see in the level, which was a uh, sort of different uh, heights of uh, walls to block lines of sight. So you can still see that enemy from here. But if you uh, go behind the cover, you uh, aren't locked down anymore. So. So uh, yeah, I'll just go through the uh, rest of the level. I've tried to incorporate uh, most of what Alan wanted to see. If you, uh, as you'll probably be able to see on the uh, forum from Alan's response. And uh, later in the level you'll see the different heights of the uh, jumps that you can achieve. Because uh, jumping is affected by your current velocity. So, uh, oh, current like movement speed so if you're moving faster you'll jump higher and if you're not moving as fast you won't jump as high I could probably quickly show that off right now if I uh, stay still you'll see the jump isn't that high but if I move up to max speed the jump becomes quite a lot higher so that will affect uh, how we move in the level uh, in just a little bit just gotta make sure I don't die to any of these guys And uh, one thing that happened before was uh, when you weren't locked on, but you shot an enemy, the uh, health bar wouldn't appear. But uh, now it will appear for two seconds and disappear if you're not locked onto it. And I need to uh, be a bit more careful because I'm on low health. But then again, I, c I could just uh, turn myself invincible. So uh, yeah. I'll just uh, go through the rest of this level now. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Uh, as you'll see, there's a guy behind this glass here uh, that we'll get to later. Yeah, I've tried to, uh, with the new changes to the level, I've tried to incorporate differences of height as much as I can. So as you'll see, there's uh, stairs here. But rather than like acting like normal stairs, they've been clipped off so that they uh, you go up them smoothly rather than like having to jump up every single step. Because you can, uh, what's it called? Uh, you can make a jump up a single step from a uh, like no movement as a sim as a single step is a uh, fifty unreal units and uh, the. Uh, shortest jump gives you 250 uh, jumping velocity, so it's just about enough to uh, clear a like, a single like block of distance. And uh, as I'll show again in a sec, the these uh, jumps here with like two squares of distance, you can't do in a sort of standing jump. You have to get a little bit of speed before you jump up these ones. And, uh, there's another guy up here on the top of the stairs. As you probably, as you might see, uh, when you shoot him, 
as you're going over the stairs you might lose line of sight as you are pushing back but most of the time it's alright and then if we uh, drop down here oh, I haven't uh, done the back of that very well but I'll fix that and this uh, area is sort of another terrain so, sort of area mostly just so I could uh, make a sort of like very like a uh, heighty area with like a uh, lots of variation in height and uh, this is near enough to the uh, end of the level now so we ain't got much further to go As we kill this guy, once we uh, go around the corner, we'll win. So our accuracy was a uh, 87, 86.7, sorry, and it took us five minutes, almost six minutes. So uh, yeah, I think that's most of the changes I've talked about. I don't think there's a uh, anything else that I needed to talk about. I'll just quickly check before I uh, end the video. Um, I think most of that should cover it. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If I do end up making another video, I'll uh, see you in that one. But uh, yeah, for now, thanks for watching.